Hello, hello, everybody. It's Pizza Lover three four six here, and welcome to Castlevania, aka the twenty one subscriber special. Because oh my lordy, you guys are awesome. We reached twenty one subs, which is phenomenal. And I had to do a special, and a little thing to say I am alive. I disappeared for like two months. I'm alive, I'm trying to get back on schedule, but I want to throw you guys something, especially because we reached that 20 sub goal that is super awesome, and then from there we got that extra one. So we're playing Castlevania, which is super awesome, I really like this game, and I think it works really well, because obviously we don't want to start a series for one little, uh, one little achievement. Really awesome achievement, but just an achievement. So instead, I decided I'd do a game that was long enough to make a long episode, but short enough where it won't warrant an entire series. I wish I didn't have the stopwatch right now, if I'm being completely honest. Okay. Okay, I got the cross to wipe the screen. Mm. Uh, hit the bat. Oh, I missed. Okay. Wall meat. Do 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 do. I'm already lo at a loss of words. I don't know what to say beyond like the cliche. This is super awesome. Thank you, everyone, so much for this awesome achievement. Like twenty subs is huge. I know you hear you hear the big names going oh two thousand million, and you're like oh no that's big. But when when you're just some guy sitting there and having a good time playing the games that you enjoy and you reach 20 subs, that feels awesome. That, that's 20 people who enjoyed your content enough to get notifications or just to have that easy to click button to get to your channel to watch those videos. And that that feels awesome to know that there are, there are 21 of you out there. Whether or not you're watching this video doesn't matter. There are 21 of you out there who were happy to click that little red button. Oh, I took the hit. Hopefully, I can get myself back on schedule very soon and we can continue playing fun games and growing. Because I finally figured that out. For so long it was cringe and trying for views, but now I get to play the games I enjoy. Throw the axe. Oh, stupid stairs. Okay. Okay, he's gaining on me health wise. Okay, throw that. There we go. Got him. Bam. Uh, okay, so Castlevania. Now that I'm now that I'm done gushing for like five minutes, three stages. So I'm assuming five minutes for for the first three stages. I sat there and gushed. So now that I'm done doing that, Castlevania, a really fun NES game, uh, starring Simon Belmont. As you can see, the little orange dude, he's got a whip. It, he kills vampires. We go through Dracula's castle on a mission to kill Dracula. And that, that that's pretty much it. You, you enter Dracula's castle. Your goal is to kill him because he's Dracula and he's bad. And you jump and you whip and it's super hard in the later levels and super fun and makes for a good long episode 
was on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Very, very fun. And as I as I like to say whenever I do these Nintendo games, or at least I try I try to oh first death, chalk them up. Uh, as I as I like to try to say whenever I'm doing these Nintendo games, support Nintendo, pur purchase whatever they got coming out if if it is your cup of tea, and um, yeah, don't don't ignore them, support them. Uh, don't Nintendo don't sue me. I'm I'm sure I'm not that big where they're gonna go after me. But just in case, Nintendo don't sue me. I love you. Um. All right, get the whip upgrade. So here's the lowdown. You got weapons. You've got different whip upgrades. You got three. You got one where it goes to metal, or three different levels of whip. There's normal whip. One where it goes to metal and becomes the vampire killer. And one where it gets a nice little length extension so you can reach long distances. You can murder at a distance. Uh, weapons. Right now we have the holy water. Which is holy water, as you'd expect. We throw it, it kills monsters, and also catches on fire, which is cool. Check it. Foosh. Also, these Medusa heads are evil, so we're just gonna focus on not running it. Oh, the knife. Like the worst weapon in all of the game. You throw it forwards, it doesn't do much damage, it just kind of exists. It's better than no weapon, but you generally don't want to trade a weapon for it unless you're in desperate need, like you have the stopwatch and you're going into a boss fight. That's like the only time I can think of where you really want. Because stopwatch, while I'm, while I'm talking about it, it freezes time and stops all enemies from moving. Unless they're a boss, in which case they continue moving. So basically the one thing the stopwatch does becomes mute if you use it in a boss fight. So that's like the only time you pick up a knife. Is if you're about to go into a boss fight and you have one of these bad boys. So basically let's, let's demonstrate it. You spend five hearts, things can't move. The enemies cannot move, they cannot get you. You are safe so long as you do not touch them. Because they still have a hitbox, I say they jump directly into a pit. There's whip upgrade one. Metal. And then there's whip up... Nope. Dodging these Medusa heads hard. Knife. Whip upgrade two. Length. Yeah. And that is the whip upgrades. Hearts are your ammo, not your health. Health is restored if you find the secret wall chicken. That is the only way to get your health back. I am really bad at this. Okay, so the other thing is this game was designed with purposefully clunky controls. There's a nice little delay to when you swing the whip because, well, you're swinging a whip. Also, they needed to pad it out and make it challenging, so you're not exactly the best at air mobility. You're, you're a slow dude. If, if this wasn't as atmospheric and fun, this would have been another garbage game. Honestly, if, if this were a licensed game, it would fit right in. But it was not, and it brought something unique to the table. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now, it's probably what made Castlevania such a knockout success. I, I mean, I guess it wasn't a huge knockout success, nothing like Mario, but it was, it was a big one. It was cool. It was unique. It did something different, and it wasn't just a crappy licensed game. It was a challenging, quote unquote, scary game. Cross clears the screen, as I mentioned earlier when we got one before, when I was talking about not wanting the knife. Okay. Cross isn't a weapon. You just pick it up and your screen flashes and it is cleared. Door signifies the end of a level. <laughs> I'm running out of things to talk about already. It's a very simple, bare-bones game. It's fun. It's challenging. It's Castlevania. 
These spikes are instant death if you even, like, slightly touch them with your face. So don't... See? <laughs> don't let your little hunched-over back be in their way. Um... Dying's not too bad. The only thing is, um, if you game over, you get set back to the first of three levels. Game works in segments of three. You got level one, two, and three. Four, five, and six. And in between each three is a boss. So we fought a bat who was not Dracula, just a generic vampire bat. And I think next is Medusa. If I'm not mistaken. And that is the cross. Not to be confused with the screen screen wiping cross. This is the cross, which works as a boomerang. Because we all know, when we throw a cross, it works as a monster-killing boomerang. I gotta check that I'm not about to pick up the knife every time I break a candle now. Breaking candles gives you items. Yeah, you can jump items, you can also be not that gutsy and um, wait for them to despawn. It just takes a moment. Here, here's a side note that's only relevant because Simon Belmont. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's going to be awesome. And I'm actually really excited to see Simon Belmont in it. That's going to be really cool. I didn't try Castlevania until everyone was talking about how they wanted Simon Belmont for Smash 4. All the way all the way back when Smash 4 was coming out, when everybody was making wish lists for that game, they said they wanted Simon Belmont. I gave this game a try, thought it was fun, and yeah, it's just been it's just been a game that I really like. I've never beaten it. There's infinite continues, so I should have, but that takes time and effort, and we all know I don't like that. Whew. Okay. So I just like got good-ish. Good enough to, to get a decent ways in. In this case, fill an episode. Hey oh <laughs> playing uh Castlevania. I, th I think I kind of have a good formula for the channel now. Um, as I was saying earlier, it used to be I just kind of hoped for views and played whatever cringe I stumbled upon. But, oh, But now I, I actually kind of have a thing figured out where I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll play the games I like. And I think I'm noticing this trend where if I do a special, I'm playing some sort of NES game that I find fun but can't fill an entire time slot with. There it is, the holy water. One of my favorites. I like the way the holy water arcs. That is the entirety of the reason for my liking of the holy water. I like the way it arcs. We're gonna huck. Holy water at this dude. Oh, damn it. You can use your whip to break the dude's fireballs. I'm just not good at being patient. Okay. Level 2 holy water is just stronger, better holy water. And I wish there was some wall meat, but there is not. Oh, sweet, the cross. I'm ready to tango Medusa heads. It's kind of funny. One of the boss. Right here. We've got the boss battle with the Medusa head. Who is just a flying Medusa head. Dude, I'm throwing holy water at you. That is her one thing. Holy water freezes her so you can beat her up. But that's a flying Medusa head boss, right? 
but then there's the flying Medusa head enemies. So there are two Medusas. Cool. You can see the map of Dracula's castle. There's a lot more than you see. Level 3 holy water. Ha. Uh -huh. Yep. These are flea men. We don't like them. They're annoying. That's the that's why I'm stopping and throwing holy water at them in hopes of catching them because if you don't catch them you're done. Cool. Uh, okay, skeleton dudes like to move away from you. Crows, unpredictable. Sometimes they swoop like that and fly backwards away. Other times, they dive bomb you because they want you dead. So, I mean, if you can kill them, go for it. If you can't, hope they don't dive bomb. Crouch there and get money! This is a secret I found on accident. A heart landed on the edge and I needed to crouch to get it. I crouched and grabbed it. But then... The money appeared. So now I crouch down there all the time. Make your life easier right there. That one's an axe, which is cool, but I, I, really, I like holy water. It makes bosses easier. Truth be told, it's recommended you bring holy water as far as you can, just because it helps f with the bosses. It freezes them. It is a useful tool. Um, the next boss is just kind of a nice commodity. Um, but the two after that, you'll have one opportunity to get holy water, and you want to hold on to that for as long as possible, because otherwise this game will get even more brutal. Carrying the wrong weapon can prove fatal. As stupid as that sounds, trust me, you'll want the holy water nine times out of ten. Alright, so we're going to make this part easier on accident. But, in exchange, we're going to not have holy water. Yeah, so we can freeze time. The little tick-tock, tick-tock. <sighs> Stopwatch. Making your life easier until you come to a boss fight and wish you had holy water. <sighs> Pardon me. A little tired. For the most part, you can do this segment without the stopwatch. Stopwatch is really about just making it easier. He's about to shoot fireballs at me. Oh. Okay, here we go. See this this is this is one of those times where you really wish you had a weapon and it just so happens you got a knife and some wall chicken. The mummies. Say hello, meet them, greet them. They're your new neighbors until you kill them. Throw the knife. Throw the knife. See? That easy. Slice them, dice them, chop them up, eat them, roast them, baste them, brown, and taste them. They are dead. Okay. Generally, the boss strategy is use your item and whip at them. Make sure your item's active when it can be, especially holy water, because if they get caught in the flame, it's the same effect as the bottle hitting them. 
And the knife, if they get out of your range, is just a handy thing to have. Doom, 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 boom, boom. I did that off key. So the underground area, this is one of the spots I'd recommend carrying the stopwatch. This is also uh, one of the stages where you want to keep the holy water. This is the stage where you have one opportunity to get a holy water. So, don't screw it up. And get your holy water. Hold it tight, boys, because you are going to need it. There we go. Use your stopwatch wisely. Takes a lot of hearts. Takes five. So at the beginning here, where you really need it, it's uh, really about using it wisely. Okay. Avoiding death. Bam. There's your... Nope. Okay. We're going to fresh start it. We're going to die twice here. We're going to fresh start and go. But there, there is your holy water. That is from there. Hold it tight. Wee. Okay. Continue. Perfect. All right. Cool. Shit. Uh, okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um. We're thinking on the fly just a little here because we don't have all the things we're supposed to. That cross item from the bat is just a little not good. Okay, get that. Okay. Hold it snug. It is yours. You need it. Duck. Jump. Awesome. All right. Partially explaining what I'm doing and partially talking myself through it for fear of messing up. Um, okay, it's a heart. Good. Okay, this part's really difficult because there are flea men everywhere. If there is one spot where you will understand the pain of... Oh, no. Okay, so we lost our holy water. This just got harder. It's right here. You got to be ready to hit these flea men or else they will jump and kill you quicker than you can say. Oh, no. Whew, it was close. Run, 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 run. Bam. Don't even need to fight them. You just walk through them. Avoid confrontation. So, we can get a knife here again. But we all know the knife's garbage. So we're going to avoid that, that, that candlestick with that one right there. Always a knife. If you need a weapon, there it is. But... If you have something like the axe, don't bother. Another wall chicken, just a handy dandy little thing. Um, hmm. Doo 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 ba doom. Get all the hearts and stuff that you can because you will need it. Here comes a challenging fight, unless you have holy water. That's the only way I've ever beaten it. So let's hope the axe will do the trick. It's the creature and flea man. This flea man will be the bane of your existence. So I hope you packed a weapon and a whole lot of willpower. Because that is your only chance at beating this guy. That and your holy water. <laughs> it is incredibly difficult. We'll keep trying, but basically holy water will freeze the creature in place or the flea man, whichever you prefer. I prefer to freeze the flea man because then I can just beat up the creature or you can throw it at the creature and the creature practically insta dies because magic. 
So yeah, I don't know. I just I just kind of throw it at him. <laughs> That's my suggestion. If you have holy water with you, throw it at him. Because if you don't, you will sorely regret it, and you will be done for. It's not all those power ups just coming in. Oh yeah, ha 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 ha! Ow. Okay. So we're gonna focus on hitting and avoiding the flea man here, while also hitting the creature. Because we all know that if you don't fight the boss, you don't win the boss fight. Until that happens. You can always get tantalizingly close, but you will almost never win. And it's terrible. Okay. Get him. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get that wall meat. Alright. Alright. Th th we're going we're gonna to try this boss fight. Pure silence. Pure focus here. I, I bet you I got this. I, I would say I guarantee it, but I really don't. And we have, like, no lives left, so I'm going to try it. Provided I can get through this dragon, dude. There we go. Look at all that money. Let's get him. Get him, boys. Oh. Oh, I tried. Okay, so pure silence works worse. Okay. Okay. Oh. Dude. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're looking a little bit better. Oh, alrighty. Okay. We're going to go back to this tactic. Whoa, we what? We wait, we won. We won! Look at that, that's awesome. Okay. I lied, don't listen to anything I say. Just like, mm, try to avoid things. Whip and avoid, whip and avoid. I guess, I guess you can win without the holy water pretty easily. That wasn't that bad. I'm not gonna lie, that was not that bad. Yeah, we actually just made it through the sewer area there, so. And the blue dot is us. There's still a lot more. This is where it gets genuinely hard, and it is marked with even more flea men. They're terrible. Again with the bosses and the enemies sharing name. Because there, there is the flea man who throws fireballs at you, but then there's the flea man enemy who does not throw fireballs at you. And as such is less of a threat. What did you just do, Skeleton Man? I've never seen that happen. But yeah. There's the slightly less threatening Flea Man enemy. And then there's the very threatening fireball throwing Flea Man boss. Oh, this music. This music is phenomenal. Bam. Love it. Phenomenal. It's a fun word to say. Okay. Just checking on whether or not there is wall chicken. I gotta... 
Something tells me there is somewhere around here. Red skeletons. They're like dry bones. You can't kill them. You just kind of like stop them. Holy water. Also good for uh, murdering our friend the flea man. You. Because when he jumps you can throw it at him and it has a hitbox slightly above your head. And that's the whole level of stage 13. Yes. Pat yourself on the back. Okay, these axe throwing knights are mean, cruel machines. They're cruel, they're mean, they're angry, dude. As you can tell, they throw axes. They're mean. They are strong. They are angry. And most importantly, they are very mean. Bam. Okay. Again, holy water coming in, saving the day. Hooray for the holy water. We have to wait for this axe. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's enjoying this special so far, because I, I know it's already, it's probably already gone beyond a 30 minute episode, which was kind of my goal. I was hoping for somewhere in an hour, in, in the hour range, because y'all deserve it. Like I said before, 20 people is crazy, 21 is even crazier, and how quickly it became 21 blew my mind even more if i'm being completely honest so uh y'all are great every last one of you all 21 of you deserve a cookie i can't give you a cookie but i can say you deserve one and you do so if you have a cookie go get yourself one all right go go grab one if you if you have cookies go 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 grab one you deserve that cookie there you go walk into the holy water yeah, cookies. That's That pretty much sums up what I have to say. What? I thought that came out as chicken. That's weird. I was fairly certain that was wall chicken. Uh, yeah, red skeletons. Evil piles of death, really. Um, no. You, st you stay right over there, Nightman. And you can... Stay not alive. Oh, okay. Double teamed. This just got a whole lot harder. We have nothing. I'm gonna uh, die. Hmm. Alrighty. We're gonna see how far we can get. With practically no tools or, or anything at all. Actually, we have nothing but our stock whip. Oh, wow. That was, that was anticlimactic. All right, we're going to go for stage 13 again. We're going we're gonna to try it. If we beat it, that'll be the end. If we don't beat it, that'll still be the end. Because I'm sure this has gone on long enough. Y'all are sick of listening to me ramble on and on about Castlevania and about 21 subs being phenomenal. And the word phenomenal... Um, like I said, thank you. 21 subs blows my mind. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a thing I, I wanted to happen. I wanted to reach out to people with this channel so they could, they could watch something at least somewhat entertaining, right? I mean, that, that's, that's kind of the goal of YouTube. You look for entertainment, and I was hoping I could provide that. But I never really thought, you know that's 21 people I was just like oh yeah higher sub count means more popular more people are entertained I never like sat back and went wait a minute that's actually that many people sit down to watch your content that that's crazy 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 I honestly am dumbfounded oh my god okay oh. so like I said, pat yourself on the back. Get a cookie. Alright, and don't...
Don't don't ask me for cookies, but if you have cookies, go get a cookie. You deserve it. Good job. Cookies. <laughs> cookies and vampire killing. There's there there's the uh, there's the name of the episode. The title's gonna be gonna be uh, cookies and vampire killing. Twenty one sub special Castlevania. That 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 is the video title right there. That's what you just clicked on. You just clicked on Cookies and Vampire Killing. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, skeleton dude. There we go. Take care of him. Hup. Okay. Hit that magic. Get money, because points are good. Hey, there, there's a challenge for anyone out there who has Castlevania. Try to beat my score. There, there's a nice little challenge for viewers at home. It's probably not like a world record setting score or anything, but try to beat it. Have a good time. Try to beat my score. See what happens. And if you haven't played Castlevania, give it a try. It's tough, it's fun, it's a good game. It's Castlevania. All the qualities of a good NES game. Tough, fun, and reasonable. It's a good one. Hey, we made it through stage 13. I'm just going to keep going until I get that game over. Anticlimactic or not, just because I'm kind of like mid sentence and whatever and not really coming to an end there's one of my lives right there because I alright so here, here's here's some Castlevania jank alright I know I just said it's a fair game and I still like it I still think it's pretty fair you just gotta know like what you're doing when you gotta press up and then hit attack to use your weapon but you press up to get on these stairs so what can happen is you can hit your you can get yourself hit by trying to climb stairs but also oh well there's the game over but also um or trying to throw your weapon but also climbing stairs so instead of throwing your weapon you climb the stairs and then the enemy runs right into you so that is the end of Castlevania and by extension the 21 subscriber special so we're going to go down to end and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching this for watching other videos for hitting subscribe like you did and i hope we can have much more content and many more subscribers in the future uh, thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next one goodbye